Hi there, my name is Thomas McGee. I'm a technical sales engineer here at Optigo Networks. And today I'm gonna to show you how we set up the Optigo Capture tool. So in front of you is here, you can see that we're on the visual backnet page. And if we're in troubleshooting or monitoring, we just go to our folder or wherever we want to upload. And you'll see that we'll have the option of an API key here in our tools and the option for a link to download the Capture tool. We'll get uh, brought to our web page here where we have the option to look at our Linux versions or our Windows version. We also have some hardware versions that we are able to set up as well and that you can buy a purchase and you can contact us for them also. After we've downloaded and set up that tool, what we want to do is browse to the tool itself and that tool will be done, uh, we'll, we'll use that through our Google Chrome browser. We then log in and as you can see, my schedule is currently set and I'm currently capturing at the moment. Currently recording one, so I'll just stop that. And as you can see, once the capture stops recording, you'll see it down in the corner and it'll go from uploaded to queued and then we'll see that file upload itself. Now, when you first log in, obviously, we're going to have to first set up our capture tool, set up the interfaces as we would with any capture tool, and then set up our connection to our visual backnet and use that API key that we just looked at in order to sync us up with the either monitor node or folder in our troubleshooting that we want to upload to. So first, I'll go to my settings, app.visualbacknet.com. If I'm on app.visualbacknet.com, I want to ensure that I have that set up. Then I will enter my API key, the key we just copy from here, bring to our capture tool, our capture tool and then enter. Here we're just selecting IP or MSTP, whichever one we want to capture, choosing our interface. By default, we will be on the capture ports 47808 to 47823. And if you want to add any more ports, we can do so here, separating by a comma for single ports and with a hyphen or a dash there if we want to do a range. We can then save those settings. And our next thing we have to do then is set our schedule. So our schedule, very simple to set. I'll just create a new one here. We're going to call it test two. I'll select how, uh, how, what intervals I want to use. So is it hourly, daily, weekly, monthly? I'm going to use hourly here. To say how often, every second hour, every third hour, I'm going to go for on the hour, every hour. I'm going to capture for 60 minutes and I'm going to choose my time at which I'm going to upload and start my captures. I generally recommend to just start it at a time that isn't exactly on the hour. Minimal difference, but probably the vast majority of people choose that at the minute on the hour. So any other time will give you a slightly smoother uploads. After that, then we can choose if we want this to run definitely or after a number of captures. If I'm running air, potentially I want this to run for just two days. You can create that schedule. That is good to run. After that, all we have to do is we can contact support if we have any help, and we should be good to get our capturing as well. We do also have another feature called our JACE wiretap, which allows us to actually get some of the MSTP information from, uh, from the MSTP side recirculated onto our IP side and allows us to get just more wider spread of our capture. Once again, please contact us support if you have any questions or you'd like to learn more about anything I've mentioned there. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch our video. If you'd like to see more from Optical Networks, you can do so by clicking here, here, or subscribing up here. Thanks very much.